Would it be okay with you if I wear my snap specs? I couldn't care less. Yeah, please, wear whatever you're gonna wear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, look like a huge nerd, but I just thought it's cool because then I can also Snapchat. Oh, cool. Alright. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> this is first thing in the morning. Almost. Almost, yeah. 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 Um, so we're here today to talk about Goon 2. Mm -hmm. um, you were a writer, director, and the actor. I am. And what was the reason why you wanted to make this film? Oh, uh, because I didn't think we were done after the first one. I thought that we had like stumbled into something pretty awesome and special. And, um, and then Canada agreed with us because Canada really likes that movie. So is it, is it a big group of friends that you guys work on these projects? Yeah, that's the thing. Like we, I, I, we went into there a bunch of us already being friends and then, uh, and then we came out of it with just even more friends. Oh, yeah. And uh, not that that's reason alone to get people to bankroll us hanging out, but yeah. like we, you know, cause you could have a good time and the movie could turn out crappy. Yeah. Um, but we had a good time and kind of found something special that we hadn't seen in other movies. Uh, but the rest of us are all, yeah, massive, Massive hockey fans, and so like it's so funny. Like we'd be shooting this movie yeah. and then chatting whatever hockey fan stuff. And yeah. Takes, yeah. What's your team? Oh, Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. You grew up in Montreal. I okay. did. Yeah. Fighting in hockey. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be a thing of the past? It already is. Yeah, it's gone down fifty percent since last year. Yeah. So it's like this is why we called it last of the enforcers because because um, that era is drawing to a close, and there's something. There's something kind of uh, romantic and wants to. It's not an endorsement of fighting, right. no, nor is it against fighting. Like it would be pretty hypocritical of us to make a movie that's anti-fighting. Yeah. But it'd be just as irresponsible to make a ringing endorsement of it and not show at least some of the repercussions of what it looks like when that guy goes home. Right. And so, ideally, if you believe hockey and fighting are one and the same, or if you think that one has nothing to do with the other, you'll see our film and see your, your, your viewpoint reflected. Well, and Glad's character too, he's such a soft and sweet guy outside of the rink, yes. which I think is a, it's a really interesting character that you guys have developed. Thank you. Yeah, we, you know, that it's true. It's like, it's amazing that like the audience will follow him through anything. Um, in in my experience, like yeah. most hockey fighters that I've met, to a man, mm -hmm. are all by far the most humble, polite, accommodating athletes I've ever met. So, mm -hmm. um, so it is. So true. Did they just save all of this for the ice then? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and they're often like really close with the guys that they end up having to fight. You right. Know? And uh, one has nothing to do with the other. Yeah. And um, and for whatever reason, also like. I haven't seen that character in movies before. Yeah. One other thing I want to touch on before our interview is over is because you come from uh, Canada yeah. and that you've done so many different things in film, do you have any advice for filmmakers coming out of school now about how to start doing their creative projects to oh, get out there? Yeah. Um, tolerate no excuse to do it. You you know, um, a lot of people will have great ideas and tell you and then launch into a 20 minute thing about why they can't take that first step, or how hard it is, right. or any of these different things. Those people will never do it. Yeah. You know, Stephen King said that like ideas are worthless. You know, yeah. like, everyone has them. Everybody has one. And so, like, it's it's the idea, but it's also um, the commitment to doing it, and the you will be told no, and you will fail, and right. people will tell you it's a bad idea again and again and again. Yeah. It's it's not about one round; it's about twelve rounds. Right. And like every movie dies at least one death before it comes out, if it comes out. Goon is no different. Um, you guys almost had a cult following with the first one. We though. we did. People fell in love with it all the same. Yeah. It's still there was still a time when a movie fell apart and we weren't going to make Goon too. Right. And there's a bunch of different reasons why. But we all wanted it and yeah. wanted to do it. And so you you keep sucking it up and you keep doing it. And also the other thing is like right now, there's all these kind of cool homes that are in place um, that people can put their stuff that we didn't have. Or, but now, if you're in high school or if you graduate university, no matter what, there's an infrastructure in place that the world is all directly connected to. Uh, where people are constantly wanting to see. There's an appetite for people's stuff, for right. short films that there never was before. Right. So in this day and age, this all I say, in this day and age, if you can't find a way yeah. to tell your story, shoot it, 
cut it and put it out there, that's you. Yeah. So just do it and keep doing it and like tolerate no excuse and uh, and it, it's the same. It's, if you want it, you'll do it. It's, yeah, check it out in theaters.